Alliance for Community Preservation and Betterment. Let me give you economics 101. Congestion tax is a regressive tax. It will only hurt the working class who are the least able to pay for it. When we have government agencies, when we're running organizations, if they are not viable, we audit them and we make cuts. Why are we continuing to fund the MTA when the services continue to decline? They need to make sure subways are safe, services are provided to fair payers. How about going after those who are evading fares? That's where your revenue should come from, not from the working class, from those who can least afford it. We have Chinatown, Little Italy, and other neighborhoods in the congestion zone where people cannot afford to come in. They don't work normal nine to five jobs. They need to come in off hours. Subways are not reliable. If you could get it to six minutes, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, perhaps. But we don't have that. So solve the problem with the MTA. And I love how people talk about, look at London, look at Singapore. But let me tell you this. What they don't tell you is, in Singapore, congestion pricing isn't 24 hours a day. It is dynamic pricing. When there's congestion, it costs more. When there's no congestion, there's no fee. There's no fee after hours. This is a broken system. We need to fix it. And by taxing the working class is not the way to do it. Thank you.